Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn With Me. I'm Deborah Hansen, and today we are going to look at the key terms for topic 1.5, sleep. Now, this is just the key terms that you need to know for this particular section of the unit. If you want to know the details about this particular section, 1.5, sleep, I do have another video where I talk about the CED question and the essential knowledge that the College Board wants you to know for the AP exam. So check that out if you want to take some notes on that, you have an upcoming test, or maybe you're studying for the AP exam, right? Right now. So I'm going to get started on the key terms. There's quite, not too many on this one, but we're going to go through each one, a definition and um, an example. And if you do like this video, please remember to like and subscribe at the end. It really does help me a lot. And it kind of encourages me to keep going. So here we go. First up, we have alpha waves. Alpha waves are brain waves that occur when you're relaxed, but awake often associated with calm, restful state. When a person is awake but relaxed, such as when sitting quietly or just before falling asleep, the brain may exhibit alpha waves. These waves can be detected using an EEG, showing rhythmic patterns that indicate a relaxed mental state. Alpha waves are also observed during meditation and mindfulness practices, reflecting a state of inward focus and relaxation. Circadian rhythm. The circadian rhythm refers to the natural internal process that regulates the sleep-wake cycle and repeats roughly every 24 hours. It is influenced by environmental cues like light and temperature. The sleep-wake cycle is a classic example of a circadian rhythm. Humans typically experience a peak in alertness and wakefulness during the day, followed by a gradual decline in the evening as the body prepares for sleep. This pattern is regulated by the circadian rhythm, which helps synchronize our physiological processes with the day-night cycle. Shift workers who experience disrupted sleep patterns due to irregular work hours often struggle with circadian rhythm disruptions. Delta waves. Delta waves are slow, high amplitude brain waves that are characteristic of deep sleep stages, specifically stage three of non-REM sleep. During deep sleep, such as in stage three of the sleep cycle, delta waves dominate the brain's activity. This phase is crucial for physical restoration and recovery, as well as for cognitive functions like memory consolidation. Delta waves are also associated with states of unconsciousness and are distinct from the, fa are distinct from the faster brain waves observed during wakefulness and REM sleep. Hallucinations. Hallucinations are per perpetual experiences that occur without an external stimulus. They can involve seeing, hearing, feeling, or smelling things that are not present. A person experiencing auditory hallucinations might hear voices speaking to them when no one's around. This can occur in conditions like schizophrenia or certain drug-induced states. Visual hallucinations where someone sees objects, people, or scenes that aren't real can also occur in various medical or psychiatric conditions. Insomnia. Insomnia is a sleep disorder characterized by difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, or waking up too early and not being able to return to sleep. A person with insomnia may find themselves lying awake at night, unable to fall asleep, despite feeling tired. This can lead to daytime fatigue, irritability, and difficulty concentrating. Insomnia can be caused by various factors such as stress, anxiety, medical conditions, or poor sleep habits. Latent content. Latent content is the hidden underlying meaning of a dream, as opposed to its literal storyline. In a dream where someone is being chased by a monster, the latent content might symbolize unresolved fears of anxieties in the dreamer's life, rather than simply being about a monster. Freud believed that interpreting these latent meanings could provide insights into unconscious desires and conflict. Manifest content. Manifest content is the actual literal storyline or images of a dream as you remember it. So if you dream about flying in the sky, the manifest content is the specific imagery and events of flying. This is what you describe when you tell someone about your dream. The deeper hidden meaning, the latent content, might involve feelings of freedom or escape from life's challenges. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a chronic sleep disorder characterized by overwhelming daytime drowsiness and sudden attacks of sleep. People with narcolepsy may fall asleep suddenly and uncontrollably during the day. For example, someone with narcolepsy might unexpectedly doze off while having a conversation or eating lunch. Night terrors. Night terrors are episodes of intense fear, screaming, and flailing while still asleep, often occurring during non-REM sleep. A child experiencing a night terror might sit up in bed, scream loudly, and appear frightened, but they don't remember the episode in the morning. NREM sleep. 
Non-rapid eye movement sleep is the phase of sleep that encompasses the stages of sleep where there is no rapid eye movement, including light sleep, stages one and two, and deep sleep, stages three and four. During NREM sleep, a person might be in a deep restorative sleep that helps the body repair tissues, build bone and muscle, but they won't experience vivid dreams as they would in REM sleep. REM rebound. REM rebound is a phenomenon where after being deprived of REM or rapid eye movement sleep, a person will spend a greater amount of time in REM sleep during subsequent sleep sessions to compensate for the lost REM sleep. If someone has several nights of poor sleep with little to no REM sleep, on the next night when they get a proper rest, they might experience longer and more intense periods of REM sleep, which can result in more vivid dreams. REM sleep. REM, or rapid eye movement sleep, is a stage of the sleep cycle characterized by rapid movements of the eyes, vivid dreams, and increased brain activity similar to wakefulness. It's also associated with muscle atonia, which means the body is temporarily paralyzed. During a typical night's sleep, a person will go through several cycles of REM sleep. In REM sleep, if someone is observed, their eyes might be seen darting back and forth under their closed eyelids, and if they're awakened, they might recall a detailed vivid dream. Sleep. Sleep is a natural periodic state of rest for the body and mind characterized by reduced consciousness, decreased movement, and altered brain activity. After a long day of school, a student goes to bed around 10 p.m. As they sleep through the night, their body undergoes different stages of sleep, including deep sleep and REM sleep, helping them feel refreshed and ready for the next day. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder characterized by repeated interruptions in breathing during sleep, leading to poor sleep quality and excessive daytime sleepiness. John often feels extremely tired during the day and finds himself nodding off at work. His partner notices that John frequently stops breathing and then gasps for air while sleeping. After a visit to the doctor, John is diagnosed with sleep apnea and begins treatment with a CPAP machine to help keep his airways open during the night. So the last word we're going to do today is a little bit of a tough one to say, but anyway, let's go for it. It's suprachiasmatic nucleus, or we can call it the SCN, which is much easier. So the SCN is a small region in the hypothalamus of the brain that serves as the body's master clock, regulating the circadian rhythms, including the sleep-wake cycle. For example, Sarah finds that she gets sleepy around the same time every night and wakes up at the same time each morning, even without an alarm clock. This regular sleep-wake pattern is controlled by her SCN, which adjusts her internal clock based on light cues from the environment. So now that we've gone through all the definitions and examples, let's practice a little bit. So I'm just going to flash the words that we just talked about on the screen, and you can try and do it without your notes if you can, or if you have to look at your notes, read them so that you can actually start to like be, start to remember them. So whether you wrote them down on flashcards or in your notebook, or maybe you're just listening to them over and over again, whatever works for you, right? So here we go. Alpha waves. Circadian rhythm. Delta waves. Hallucinations. Insomnia. Latent content. Manifest content. Narcolepsy, night terrors, NREM sleep, REM rebound, REM sleep, sleep, sleep apnea, Suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN. And that's all the key terms you need to know for AP Psychology 1.5 Sleep. So hopefully you wrote those down. That would be good in your notes or on flashcards. If you want to find out more about 1.5, you want to see what the CED questions are and the essential knowledge, I do have a video on that. You can check that out. Uh, if you like the content and you want to hear more from me, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would be happy to see the numbers go up, which is great. Thank you so much. See you next time.